Hello and welcome back. For this list we've decided to take a look at the 10 best historical war films ever made. Now to qualify for the list the film must be set prior to 1900, so movies covering the world wars and the war on terror don't count. Also, despite taking place prior to the 20th century, we won't be including American Civil War films, as we're going to cover those in another video. Number 10, The Last Samurai. A shoot firing position! A shoot firing position! Starting off our list we have Edward Zwick's period action drama loosely based on the Sinan War of 1877. Whilst regarded by some critics as an oblivious example of a white saviour's story, The Last Samurai is nonetheless a satisfying epic with thrilling battle sequences and incredible production design. The story follows a former Union Army officer who travels to Japan during the Satsuma Rebellion and ultimately joins a group of samurai, helping them to resist corrupt advisors to the Japanese Emperor. Number 9, Master and Commander The Far Side of the World. Peter Weir's impressively detailed historical drama takes place on the HMS Surprise during the Napoleonic Wars. The story revolves around the friendship between Captain Jack Aubrey and Surgeon Stephen Maturin as they pursue a French war vessel off the coast of South America. The ultimate naval warfare movie, Master and Commander, is rich in period accuracy and dense with distinctive and fascinating characters. Number 8, Henry V. Whilst Laurence Olivier's 1944 adaptation is a worthy mention, we had to choose Kenneth Branagh's incredible directorial debut. A gritty and stirring interpretation of Shakespeare's play, Henry V follows the story of the infamous king and the events surrounding the Battle of Agincourt, laying emphasis on the horrors of war. Branagh also manages to present a more accessible rendition of the Shakespearean language, resulting in a solidly mounted production. And hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks that thought with us. Upon Saint Crespin's Day! Number 7, The Last of the Mohicans. Set at the height of the French and Indian War, The Last of the Mohicans follows Daniel Day Lewis's Hawkeye, the adopted son of the Mohican chief, when he and other tribesmen work together to protect the daughters of the British colonel in the midst of the war. Whilst it takes a little while to gather momentum, Michael Mann brings his typical obsessive attention to detail to create a thrillingly staged epic. Number 6, Barry Lyndon. It is well to dream of glorious war in a snug armchair at home, but it is a very different thing to see it first hand. Set in the 18th century, Barry Lyndon is the story of an immoral Irishman who uses his cunning to work his way up society's ladder. After joining the British Army, Barry's regiment is sent to Germany to fight in the Seven Years' War, a meticulous take on William Thackeray's novel. Stanley Kubrick's period war drama is a complex character piece that is exquisitely detailed with some of the finest cinematography to ever grace the screen. <laughs> Number 5, Braveheart. Whilst Braveheart isn't the most historically accurate of films, Mel Gibson's epic about the life of William Wallace and his rise as leader of the Scottish Revolution in the 13th century is a completely compelling film. Critics and historians might be more divided on its level of detail, but the sweeping beauty of Scotland, the brutality of the battle sequences and James Horner's incredible score make Braveheart a must-watch medieval epic. That they may take our lives, 
but they'll never take our freedom! Number 4, Spartacus. You afraid to die? It's easy to die. Haven't you seen enough gladiators in the arena to see how easy it is to die? Spartacus follows the tale of the Thracian slave who goes on to revolt against the Roman Republic, sparking the Third Civil War. Star and producer Kirk Douglas brought on Stanley Kubrick as director after their collaboration on Paths of Glory, and whilst Kubrick was restricted in regards to his creative freedom, Spartacus gave him an insight into grandiose battle sequences that he would later utilise on Barry Lyndon and Full Metal Jacket. All in all, Spartacus stands the test of time and remains a highly engaging historical drama. Number 3, Gladiator. At my signal, unleash hell. Whilst Gladiator isn't technically a war movie, the opening 15 minutes of the film depicts an incredible portrayal of a battle during the Marcomannic Wars between Germanic tribes and the Roman Empire. The story follows Maximus, a Roman general who is sent into slavery by Commodus after his family is murdered. Whilst the majority of the film follows Maximus' rise as a gladiator, it's the opening that earns the film a spot on this list. One of the finest battle sequences to come out of cinema, Ridley Scott showcases his technical prowess during this impressive scene. Number 2, Ran. One of my personal favourites, Ran is an incredible feat of cinema. Loosely based on Shakespeare's King Lear and set during the Sengoku period of civil war and social upheaval in medieval Japan, the film boasts some stunning cinematography, grandiose sets and incredible costume design. Akira Kurosawa was a master of many aspects of cinematic storytelling, and Ran is perhaps the best example in his entire filmography of his ability for creating epic conflict. Before we reveal our number one film, here are some honourable mentions that just missed the list. Kage Musha. The Duelists. The Patriot. Alexander Nevsky. Red Cliff. Kingdom of Heaven. Number one, Zulu. You think the Welsh can't do better than that, Owen? Well, they've got a very good base section, mine. But no top tenors, that's for sure. Filmed on a grand scale, Zulu is a rousing recreation of the Battle of Rourke's Drift in 1879 in South Africa. The film follows a Welsh regiment of British soldiers who are grossly outnumbered by an advancing army of 4,000 Zulu warriors. Stanley Baker's Lieutenant John Shard is left to defend the missionary station alongside his army of just 150 men. Zulu is a spectacular war movie that manages to capture the spirit for which the battle is remembered, and also made Michael Caine the star he is today. Thank you for watching. Have your own opinions? Leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new content every week.